Working on a web or mobile app in Visual Builder Studio, or VB Studio for short? Here's how VB Studio can help you work on a web or mobile app from start to finish. Your work is done within the context of a project. In most cases, someone else will have already set up this project for you. And a project has everything you need to build your app, like a Git repository, a build pipeline, and a development environment. Your development environment points to one or more Visual Builder instances, also known as runtime instances, which is where you'll deploy your finished app. Your admin should take care of setting up these runtime instances for you, as well as build the pipeline to help automate deployment. Once you get into your project, you'll need a workspace, which points to the Git repository where the code for your application will be stored. Although you can reuse a workspace across multiple editing sessions, only you can create a workspace for yourself. No one can do it for you. If you're collaborating on an application that's already been started, you'll probably want to select the Clone from Git option, then choose the master or top level branch. This will copy all the code that's been developed so far into your own working branch. If you're creating a brand new app, select the New Visual Application option, where you can create a brand new Git repository. Once you have a workspace, just click it to open the designer. If your workspace is pointing to an app you're working on with others, the designer will open it when you click the workspace name. If you're creating a brand new app, start by choosing to build a web app or a mobile app. Either way, you use the designer's editors to add components and functionality to your app. Use the book Building Web and Mobile Applications with Visual Builder Studio to guide you. When you're finished with your app and ready to test, click Preview to test your app in the privacy of your own workspace. When you're ready to ask others to test your app, click Share, which generates a URL you can give to your testers. Once everyone signs off on your work and you're ready to make it public, just click Publish Changes, which executes the necessary Git commands in the background. Depending on how your admin has set things up, you may be asked to create a merge request before you can publish your changes. This gives others an opportunity to sign off on your work before it becomes part of the master code base. If you get a message that says there are merge conflicts, that means that your work is going to overwrite the work that someone else is trying to publish to the repo. If that happens, use the Conflict Resolution Editor to decide which changes to apply, then click Publish again to continue. That's it. Thanks for watching. Learn more at docs.oracle.com.